So by far still the most common error fixing request that I get on all my VirtualBox videos is it crashes when I try to select the ISO file. So let me just show you a little example of that. Let's say we want to do Windows XP. We'll do like just random 2048, whatever. Oh, we'll do 32. So after you get all that stuff done, of course, it makes your little virtual machine. Well, normally you would click start. And when you click on start, it's gonna ask you to select the file, the disk image or the ISO. So in the latest versions of VirtualBox 6, you click the folder icon and then you click add. But the problem is when you click add and the finder window tries to open, it crashes. So it says failed to open a session for the virtual machine. And when you click on details, it comes up as an NS error failure. Now, I already have a video on how to fix the NS error failure, but I figured I'd make this video too, you know, just saying like what actually happens, you know, you click on the file icon, you click add and it crashes because some people don't read the detail section or know to read that. So it's a super, super simple fix. I don't know why this happens. This never happened in older versions of VirtualBox or Mac OS. I don't know what it is, but literally to get around it, all you have to do is click settings right here. And when you click on the settings, you're gonna see a storage tab right here. You click on that. And this is where we can actually put the disk image or the ISO in the disk drive, the virtual drive, instead of going through that other process that crashes. So if you click on this empty one right here, and then you click on this CD icon over here on the right, there's an option, choose a disk file. So when you click on that, then your finder window opens no problem and you can then navigate over to wherever your ISO file is and you can hit open and it will go ahead and put that file in the virtual disk drive. So that's how you basically get around it. So once you do that, you can literally just uh, hit OK on that and then try to start your virtual machine again. Now it's still going to ask you to select a file but what should happen this time is it should already be in the little drop down menu right here or in this case I guess they must have updated it because it automatically <laughs> starts up but if it comes up with a drop down menu it should already be there I actually didn't know that it started up like this uh, by itself now but anyways guys that's how you get around that super simple fix I don't know what causes it I wish I knew what caused it because it's kind of annoying uh, I don't know if this is a Windows host problem either I haven't tried it but this is definitely a Mac OS problem so if you are having the issue where it crashes whenever you you know try to click on a little add button there then this is your fix but anyways guys real quick video just want to show you that thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next one